local congregations who have examined and approved these candidates. And on behalf of the Board of Ordained Ministry of the Indiana Annual Conference, which has recommended these persons and this annual conference, which has approved them, we present these persons to be commissioned for the work of a deacon. Jill Marie Buckley. Angela K. Kidd. Amy Marie Kirick. Benjamin M. Lovell. And these persons to be commissioned for the work of an elder. Curtis Aaron Banker. Ronald Owen Branson. Wayne C. Carlisle Jr. Lisa Ann Cunningham. Jeffrey Barton Heron. Samuel William Neiman. Jacob McGrath Olmiller. Amy Marie Pritchard. S. Angel Ray. Joseph Randall Seeger. Anne Christine Thomas. Bishop Coiner, we present this person to be ordained into the Order of Deacons, Lowell Greg Black. And these persons to be ordained into the Order of Elder, Benjamin William Cassidy, Sarah Marie Knapp Ellis, Charles Ray Fenwick, Heather Colleen Foley, Colleen Ann Harden, John Edgar Huff, Amber Krakowski Lynn, Christopher William Lance, Christopher Dale Niker, Christopher Reed Brennan, James Edward Roach, Christopher Michael Stevens. Thank you. Friends, these persons, including lots of Christophers, as you notice, <laughs> are by God's grace to be commissioned or ordained to ministry in Christ's holy church. Those authorized by the church to inquire about them have discerned that they are persons of sound learning and Christian character and possess the necessary signs of God's grace and have demonstrated a profound commitment to serve Jesus Christ. Therefore, we believe them to be duly called to serve God. And we ask you, the people of God, to declare your assent to the commissioning or ordination of these persons. Do you trust that they are worthy by God's grace to be commissioned or ordained? We do. Thanks be to God. And will you uphold them in their ministry? With God's help, we will. My sisters and brothers in Christ, you have been called to be to the commissioned or ordained ministry, and the church now confirms your calling. As commissioned or ordained ministers, you are to be co-workers with the laity, bishops, deacons, diaconal ministers, deaconesses, home missioners, commissioned ministers, local pastors, and elders. We have lots of ministry categories. <laughs> Remember that you are called to serve rather than to be served to proclaim the faith of the church and no other, to look after the concerns of God above all, so that we may know that you believe yourselves to be called by God and that you profess the Christian faith, we ask you, do you believe God has called you to the life and work of ordained ministry? Do you believe in the triune God and confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Are you persuaded that the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments contain all things necessary for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ and are the unique and authoritative standard for the church's faith and life? I am so persuaded by God's grace. Will you be faithful in prayer, in the study of the Holy Scriptures, and with the help of the Holy Spirit continually rekindle the gift of God that is in you? I will. 
Will you do your best to pattern your life in accordance with the teachings of Christ? I will, with the help of God. Will you, in the exercise of your ministry, lead the people of God to faith in Jesus Christ, to participate in the life and work of the community, and to seek peace, justice, and freedom for all people? I will, with the help of God. And will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church, accepting its order, liturgy, doctrine, and discipline, defending it against all doctrines contrary to God's holy word, and committing yourself to be accountable with those serving with you, and to the bishop and those who are appointed to supervise your ministry. I will, the God. Then may God, who has given you the will to do these things, also give you the grace to perform them, that the work begun in you may be brought to perfection. Amen. Now speaking to those who are to be commissioned this evening, by affirming the covenant of baptism, all members of Christ's church, Holy Church pledged to serve as Christ's representatives in the world. Christ gave all of us this command, ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his harvest. We have asked, and the Lord has answered, and you're part of the answer. So these sisters and brothers know our Savior's concern for God's people. They see the plentiful harvest and are ready to respond generously to the Lord in the words of the prophet, here I am, send me. And so urged on by the love of Christ and strengthened by the Holy Spirit, they now come to declare in public their desire to live out the covenant made at their baptism by binding themselves to the service of God under the supervision of the bishop and the guidance of ordained colleagues, and by being appointed to serve as servant leaders, share as servant leaders in the body of Christ. Today we commission them to service as they continue to prepare for ordained ministry among us. Let us pray. O God of the apostles and prophets and martyrs and teachers, you raise up men and women to be apostolic leaders in your church. By your Holy Spirit, O God, help these your servants to understand and live the mystery of your love with boldness and joy. Deepen their sense of purpose as they exercise commissioned ministry. Empower them and those who walk with them to guide their ministry. Together with all of your people to heal the sick, love the outcast, resist evil, preach the word, and give themselves freely for your name's sake. Amen. <laughs> Friends, as they come forward to kneel and be commissioned, those of you who are family or friends or church members have any kind of special relationship with them are invited to stand in silent support for them as they are commissioned this evening. Oh God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Jill Marie Buckler. Send her now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Angela K. Kidd. Send her now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, for us, your Holy Spirit, upon Amy Marie Chiari. Send her now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, for us, your Holy Spirit, upon Benjamin M. Lovell. Send him now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Curtis Aaron Banker. Send him now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, 
and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Ronald Owen Branson. Send him now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Dwayne C. Carlisle, Jr. Send him now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> o God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Lisa Ann Cottingham. Send her now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Jeffrey Barton Aaron. Send him now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Samuel William Needham. Send him now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Jacob McGrath Olemeyer Olemiller. Send him now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Amy Marie Pritchard. Send her now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Angel S. Ray. Send her now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Joseph Randall Sager. Send him now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to announce the reign of God, and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Anne Christine Thomas. Send her now to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to announce the reign of God and to equip the church for ministry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I think maybe you'd like to applaud for them, would you? <laughs> Stand out and 
sing as a way of celebrating what God is doing.
They will lie down together and will not rise. They will be extinguished, extinguished like a wood. Don't remember the prior things. Don't